Hey everybody and welcome back to Crochet College, or if this is your first time, welcome. My name is Mia and in today's video we are going to be looking at this eco cozy recycled yarn from Loops and Threads. Some of the, the recycled yarn from Loops and Threads is not made of entirely 100% recycled material, but this one is, which is really exciting. It's made entirely from, it says, recycled plastic and it is a 100% recycled polyester yarn. That said, it feels like plastic, you guys. It's trying to mimic a roving style yarn in the way it's spun. You can see that it, it's kind of got that cotton candy look to it. But once, once you really feel this stuff, it feels very artificial. For those reasons, I don't think I'm going to use this as a wearable. I'll probably wind up using this to create some sort of basket or maybe even a purse. In this ball, you get 145 yards and the whole thing is 150 grams in weight. It's a pretty thin and light yarn, but again, it just feels like plastic. It doesn't feel soft. It feels very, very scratchy, even scratchier than the itchiest wool that I've ever felt. For this yarn, they recommend that you hand wash it on cold, do not bleach, dry flat, do not iron, and do not dry clean. A lot of that um, do not is probably due to the fact that it's made of plastic and if you get it too hot it could melt. So that's very important to note. I have seen a few people use um, acrylic yarns and plastic yarns to make things like pot holders or washcloths and you really just don't want to do that because plastic melts when it's exposed to high heat and there's a lot of high heat in the kitchen. So make sure you keep this stuff away from heat to avoid any injury or anything like that. They classify this yarn as a bulky number five. I agree, it's it's a pretty bulky yarn, but I don't know if it's like really on the high end of five. I'd probably say it's more on the low end of five and closer to a four worsted weight. But once you work it up, it's probably a little bit chunkier because of that halo on there too. Since, I don't know if you can really see it on camera, but there is a pretty decent halo to this yarn, probably because it's imitating that roving style. They recommend you use a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. However, they do not provide a recommended swatch size. So I'm going to work it up into a four inch by four inch square so we can look at how this yarn does once it's in a square. So I have worked this yarn up using a um, 6.5 millimeter crochet hook like they recommended and it's very shiny, very stretchy, and a little bit softer than I thought it was going to be, just based off feeling it here and how scratchy it felt. Once it's worked up, it's not the scratchiest thing I've felt. I think I have felt scratchier wool. So that's important to note that the first impression I got here came out very different once I worked it up. It's got a sleek feeling to it, very smooth. And you can kind of see, I wish you could yeah, you can kind of see how that halo comes out beautifully. So if you're comfortable wearing a plastic fiber close to your skin, I think this could make a nice hat or a nice scarf or maybe even a good shawl because it's got that beautiful halo and it's not, it's not as scratchy as I thought it was going to be. So to make this four inch by four inch square, I did nine single crochets across and 12 rows up. And I'm really happy with the stretch that you can achieve from this yarn. I think the 6.5 millimeter crochet hook is a really good recommendation. However, since I personally wouldn't be using this yarn to make a wearable, I'm probably going to triple it up and go down to like a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook to make some really nice baskets or handbags. All that said, uh, the fact that this is made from 100% recycled plastic is a really good selling point for me. I find when I go to craft fairs or even like try to sell any work with a recycled yarn, it tends to sell well. People are trying to make better choices with their purchases. So by giving them an option for a completely recycled product, it makes people wanna buy it. So for me, I'm excited to add this yarn to my collection. I'm hoping it's not a limited time only yarn. There's nothing written out on its, on its wrapper to say that, but I don't know how well these are selling in stores. I think giving anything a new life by recycling it is going to be a better option than choosing a first time manufactured acrylic or polyester yarn. 
All that said, I'm actually surprised by how much I like this yarn based off the difference from my initial feel to how I feel when it's worked up. It's soft, it's stretchy, and I think it has a place in my craft room. I'm going to give this yarn an 8 out of 10 because I think it is a great alternative to the traditional acrylic or polyester yarn that you find everywhere, and this gives some old plastic a new life. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel so you'll be one of the first to know when I come out with a new video, tutorial, or pattern. As always, thank you guys for crocheting with me, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day.